everyone, this is Miss Sarika and this is my seventh video. I'm an amazing YouTuber because I started yesterday and I already have seven videos. So let's get started. We are on the um, graphing linear equations word problems page in the eighth grade packet. I'm going to model solving question three. So first I'm gonna read the word problem, then we're gonna get started. Jesus wants to start saving for college. His parents start an account for him that currently holds $325 a month. Jesus adds $50 each month. So first things first, I need to create my equation. I'm gonna uh, label my variables Y and X. Y stands for amount of money saved. Because this is the total amount he's saving uh, depending on the month, how much money is in his bank account is Y. X is the number of months. So let's create our equation. So Y, amount of total money he saved. And then what is the rate of change? $50 each month. That is the amount of money changing each month. He's getting $50 more, which is fabulous. Um, the phone is ringing, we'll ignore. We're gonna keep going. $50 each month. So then it's 50 X, and if 50 is my rate of change, 50 is my slope. But you guys were probably answering that watching the video. So it's 50X plus, what is the initial amount in my account before the $50 each month? It's $325. That is my y-intercept because when X is zero, Y is 325. So 50x plus 325. So 50 is my slope, and 325 is my y-intercept. Y-intercept. 50 is my slope, and 325 is my y-intercept. I can graph this because it's in y equals mx plus b. First, I'm going to label my um, axes. This is y because it's vertical. This is X because it's horizontal. Remember, I'm also going to write what Y stands for, amount of money saved. And X is number of months. Uh, months, we go one, two, three, four. So I'm going to leave it one, two, three, four, five, etc. And then um, since our y-intercept is 325 and the graph is not quite that big, I'm going to make my little um, numbers on my y-axis a little bigger than 1. It's, they're going to go by 50s. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450. Again, I know that that's not quite exact, but this is only to help us make a graph. So let's use our slope and our y-intercept. Remember, y-intercept is when the line crosses the y-axis. So it's at zero, 325, and 325 is halfway between 300 and 350. I'm making an arrow. This is my zero, 325, my y-intercept. And then my slope is 50, so I go up 50 and then over 1, because remember, slope is y over x. I rise before I run, so I rise 50 and I go to the right one. If I'm at 325, up 50 is 375 and then over 1. I'm going to connect that and I'm going to do it one more time so you guys can see. So um, now I'm at 375. I'm at 1, 375. I go up another 50, and I'm at 2, 425. There we go. So I have, I have two points of my graph. Use your graph to find a solution. Label, write your answer as a sentence. So we, we graphed it. Uh, 
um, yeah, you don't need to write it. I just wanted you to graph it. Okay, so now let's read the graph. Determine how much money Jesus will have if he continues this pattern for a year. Well, I'm going to teach you a really, really, really quick way to do this. If I said X is number of months, I hope we're all thinking this in our head. How many months are in a year? One year is 12 months. And if you got that without me telling you, congratulations, you passed kindergarten. So now I'm going to plug in 12 for X. So I get Y equals 50 times 12 plus 325. And then once I solve this, I'm going to figure out how much money Jesus will have if he does this for a month. Well, 50 times 10 is 500. Um, so 50 times 12 is 600 plus 325 in one year. In one year. Um, let me write this up here. I'm just going to make an arrow so you know where I'm going. In one year, in one year, Jesus will have $925. He, has, he is on his way to college. I'm going to do a couple more of these problems and I'm going to be putting the videos up. I do not want you to worry about the write it. I just want you to focus on the graph it, create the equation, and read the graph. So, awesome. So, I hope this helped. If it didn't, I'm sure you're going to comment that it didn't help. I appreciate the feedback, and hopefully the next video that I make will be more helpful. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.